is the obvious way to go for a circle, right? So I didn't want to do the obvious thing. So I went through my stash and found some stamps that are sort of circle, circular, like this one. And these are circles, right? And this one is also a circle. And these are also circles. So I'm going to use all that. And uh, let me switch the camera around so we can do, uh, I can tell you a bit more of what I'm doing. Um, as you may or may not know, I just came back from Florida where I was teaching three different classes at Michelle's uh, store. And um, Michelle infected me with the virus for the, uh, these interference inks. I bought them all, couldn't help myself. So um, these are fun. This is the color it is on white. And this is the color it is on darker or on black cardstock. So I had this brainwave and we're gonna try that. So uh, yeah, let's give that a go, shall we? So uh, I'm gonna work on ADCs and so I have to mention our ADC journals. I love these journals. I had them with me to the US. I traded there and I've got two full already. Well, this one is not as full anymore because I gave a lot away. Uh, so I need to make some more. And these are the ones that I received uh, from people that traded with me. So this is filling up quickly as well. That's what I love about these little booklets. And still you can take them with you in your bag. Very, very handy. Um, so that is, uh, I just wanted to point these out. These are available at your favorite store or at the ECD website. Um, the sleeves are in there are very handy as well. And yeah, you can just fill them up. And yeah, that is uh, just fun to flick through. So I'm making an ADC, so I'm gonna fill this one back up again. So I'm making four ADCs actually, um, because it's a series. So let's put these to the side, don't need those. And I'm going to get started on what I was doing. So first things first, I'm gonna use this gorgeous doily. Uh, this doily is from my Christmas release from last year. And today is the last day that uh, you're able to get this for, I think it's $7. That's a big discount on this particular doily. So if you want it, grab a chance now because there's limited stock left. So um, yeah, do that. Then, so, but I've already cut this out out of watercolor card. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to get my embossing ink out and I'm going to press that. So I'm just going to press this embossing ink on there and making sure there's a good layer on there. There we go. There's that one, and I'm gonna use Weathered Gold by Seth Efter because, well, you know by now, I love that. So there we go, put that all over. Making sure there's a good layer on there. There we go. I think I've got it all covered. And if not, I can always go back. Let me get tweezers. Tweezers might help. So, put this to the side and then I'm gonna get my little thingy out. I'm just gonna cover some bits up that I missed. There we go. And I'm going to heat that. That die is gorgeous, Laurie. So, don't fly away on me. Now these embossing powders from Seth Epter, they are instant grunge, which I love.
so. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. No pancake maker isn't broken, but this one doesn't fit in. So that's easy. Yeah, that card was gorgeous, Michelle. I saw it in real life. But look at that. Look at that. What new colors, uh, Femke? The new colors. What colors? No, pancake maker. I don't use it for pancakes because we don't eat those kind of pancakes here. <laughs> um, right, that's done. So now let's get on to my uh, watercolor paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp on there, sort of, well, not completely randomly, but... No, it doesn't fit in the pancake maker. Yeah. So I'm just going to stamp this one, uh, I guess like that, I don't know. I need it four times, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, yes, I ordered them, uh, Femke. They're coming. Yes, I saw them. Sorry, didn't know what you meant there. But they are on their way. Oops. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just one more. This one, so just a bit of stamping randomly all over my paper. Don't close that, you need that. Next I'm taking this little stamp. And these are circles, right? Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm right. That one's going to go there. This is a gorgeous stamp. I agree, Jennifer. I agree. And these are circles as well. So. And That one is going to go there. Hmm. That needed a bit more ink. Can I reline? Can I redo that? Can I? I think I can. There we go. Because it's black enough. Good. So I think that is it. Now, I'm just going to let this ink dry for a moment. So I'm going to move on to my ADC cards. And I've cut these out of gold paper, the Tim Holtz gold paper, which is craft on the back, which is fun. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp again. This is the ADC card from the latest collection, the latest ADC collection. And I'm going to press that on there like so. That's one. That is number two. Just have to sort of try and see if I'm in the middle, but the camera is in the way. Doesn't work, right? You will see that in a second, Karen. Um, I will uh, demo that. You can stamp with them, definitely. It's a hybrid ink. It's um, a combination of dye and pigment ink. Sorry, I have to pull this a bit towards me. Uh, it's a combination of dye and pigment. And the dye ink, you sh they show up, I think, more on the white and the pigment on the black. But I don't know. Uh, it's a fun 
effect. Haven't done a lot with them. I've used some of them today in something I can't show you. But yeah, that'll come. That will come on a later date. So. Good, Michelle. So, that's my stamping done. So I've got my backs covered. Next, what I want to do, because I think this is too shiny, so let me take a sanding disc, and I'm just going to go over that. Like so. Hi Lois, welcome. Now don't forget to like, share and comment to be able to win the $50 gift certificate. Yeah, this ATC set is so much fun. I love that classic look that you get with the uh, indented corners. The matching stamp set is perfect to go along with it. And this, uh, this stamp also fits on the matte layer. I chose not to use a matte layer now, but you can also stamp it on a matte layer. And uh, yeah. So, I love this effect. When you sand it, it gets more grungy and more of a used, weathered look. These are the sanding discs from Tim that I thought I didn't need, but I use all the time. And that's how it goes, right? That's how it goes. Okay, so these are ready to go, I think. Yep. Let me ink the edges. Uh, because I like that. Hi, Nora. So, hey Linda, thank you for liking, sharing and commenting. There we go. These are all ready to go. This one's ready to go. So, oh, that matches beautiful, by the way. You see that? Gorgeous. Love it. Uh, what's next? Oh, yeah. Now the fun bit starts. Um, let me think. Let me get into the basement and get. This little mat out. This is uh, what you stick onto the glass media mat. Um, so this is dry now. So let me get started with the ink. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to push that ink onto my mat. Spray that as you would do with a distress ink. Now, I don't like the squares, so I'm just pulling my fingers through as I would do with a distress. So this is fairly the same. And then I'm going to take this and pull that through. And do that again. Pull it through. Pull it through. Just making sure it's all covered. Nice blue color. So I'm hoping this will work. In my head it worked, so it better work. <laughs> I think it will. Oh yeah, it's doing something. That's good. Okay, let's dry this. This is a nice bright blue. Hi Els. 
You see what happens? On the black, you get a different color. It becomes the purple. How cool is that? I love that. These inks are really nice and shimmery. So, when they dry, they shine more. But I will do more layers. I will build it up. This is really cool. You see that on the black? That, that purple? I love it when a plant comes together. So, let me put some more ink on. Now, not as much water. They feel different on your fingers. So now I'm just dabbing it in, picking up that ink. Well, I didn't know. I just thought I'd test it, Robin. It's always fun to experiment, especially during a life. Okay, let me try this again. So the fun about this ink is that it is water reactive. So you can work it the same way as you can do your distress inks. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, cool, right? The purple on the black. Depending on how you shift it in the light. So I'm going to do one more dip. So bear with me, just let me, there's water on here, there we go. Hi Sharon, welcome. Well the theme is circles, so I thought, well, these are circles, so I might as well use that. So I, I want a bit more here, uh, where did I want a bit more? There, so I'm going to start there, just dip that in. You really can build up the layers by drying in between. I think this is good. Won't do anything more. Just wipe this off, put this to the side. Don't need that. I love this. I don't know, Femka. I don't think so, actually. Um, I bought one color, I can't remember where, to be honest. So, no, I don't know. I haven't found them online. I tried to search for them. So maybe the person who sold them is sold out already, I don't know. So... This is dry. Yeah, I don't think I need to splatter it because there's already a lot of texture on there. So I'm going to leave it as is. But even you can, let me show you. You can splatter on it as well. And then you can take off color or Try it and it will bleach. You see? Oh, it's actually fun. He split us. Okay. Happy I did that. So, now take my cutting plate. And I'm lucky because I have four die sets because I bought four. Um, because I was doing a lot of workshops with these. So, that saves me a lot of time cutting out, right? So I'm just going to line them up where I want them. And then I will cut out these four matte layers at the same time. Obviously, I know not everybody is just as lucky that you have four, but I needed to do so much cutting for the workshop, so I bought extra sets just to save me some time. Because, well, prepping for these workshops is a lot of work. 
So I'm going to cut these out. Run it through the die cutter. There we go. Look at that. Fun. I love them. And Michelle, you were right. <laughs> Not about everything, but about that magnet. You know what I mean. Right. Inking the edges. So I sort of want the frayed burlap to touch that stitch border because that'll bring it out more. So I'm coming in a bit and I love how, what that does to the matte layer as well. Yeah, this is the ink. They're so nice and shiny. Do you see that? It's always hard to pick up shine on the camera. There we go. There's two. There is number three coming. So, anyone has something fun planned for the weekend? I'm going to do absolutely nothing. It's my first weekend off in a long time. So, I'm not doing a demo. I'm not teaching a class. Um, so, I'm going to spend some time with Daniel and do nothing. So else you've heard it. <laughs> I just had the lid. Where did the lid go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, next I'm taking this one and my little scissors and I'm going to trim that right there. Hey, Annette. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the magnet from Sissix uh, to hold your dice. And I heard somebody say that it wasn't good. And then Michelle convinced me to buy it. <laughs> and actually, I love it. So that's what I meant with she's right. So I'm just going to cut these in half. Or not in, in quarters, actually. Because these are circles as well, right? These are circles, so that should work. Um, let me get my thingy out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue Ooh, way too much glue. I said some glue, right? Look at that. Oh, well. Mm. This way. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that's nice, Astrid. Oh, yeah, that's me else, you know. Impatient, and it didn't come out, so I banged it harder, and then... Oh, well. In the end of the day, it's just glue, right? Okay, that one's on there. <laughs> Okay, and this one. How am I going to do that one? I'm going to put this one from this side because they don't have to be exactly matchy-matchy. There's 
there's, I don't think there's glue behind this one, which is unique in its way. With you have so much glue on your map that you manage not to put it there. Haha, <laughs> Robin, don't get me started. Don't get me started. But yeah, this waste of glue. Come on. Pop. There we go. You can come from here. I'll put you on there now. So one more to go. There we go. Oh dear, I'm covered in glue completely, which is typical for me, but okay. I'm trying to find some baby wipes. This one's closed. How does this open? Oh, here, I think. Yay! Exactly, else. That's what I was thinking. There we go. That's that. Okay, let's put them onto their cards. So I'm going to use this glue. <laughs> there we go. Trim this off. That's one. I don't know, the people who followed me for a longer time, I found my pink scissors again. You know I lost them and then... There we go, that's number two. Thanks, Michelle. See how nicely that lines up, and I love this this tiny border you get. What is it, one eighth of an inch maybe, uh, around your matte layers. Love that. So where did I find what, Sandra? Oh, where did I find the scissors? Underneath, I've got a big cabinet next to me and just underneath at the back end of it. Oh well. I found them, that's the main thing, right? Okay, more than enough glue. <laughs> So, the last thing to do is to put on sentiment. So I'm just going to etch these. And put them on like so. It is what it is, right? My favorite saying, it is what it is. Oh, etching, David, etch. Forgot to etch. Let's 
So, one more here. Etching, David. Really? Oh no, Femke, I can't be bothered. It's not that much left. So, I need one more saying. So, let me have a look. Because it shouldn't be too big. I think playtime is the one to go with. Because that's what this was, playtime. I loved it. I love experimenting and stuff and well, I got these new inks in and I had to try them and I love how they turned out. So, yeah. There we go. Clean up the mess. Oh, that's beautiful. No, not, not beautiful, but yeah, it, it, I think it's beautiful if you can say that, if you know what I mean in a situation like that. So here we are, four nice ATC cards. Let me zoom in. There we go. So this is the end result, guys. I managed it. Four ATC cards with the theme circles. So uh, I will post a picture in all the groups uh, so you can see the, hopefully I can capture the sparkle. So. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the prompt for the ATC special group, not ATC special group, the A ECD ATC group, that's what it's called. So I hope you like it. If you do, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share and comment. And I will see you the next one. Don't know when that is, but you never know, right? Uh, thank you for joining me. Have a fantastic weekend. And uh, yeah, have, have a play at the weekend and put it in the groups uh, and join in the fun. Thank you very much, and I love to see you the next one. Thank you. Bye.